kettlebell pullover. So with this exercise, we're going to have Pamela start in a supine position. Her feet are pulled in close enough to her butt. She's in a comfortable position. And we want her lumbar spine to be neutral or flat to the ground. Just want to make sure that she's not overextended. Uh, from this position, she's going to reach back behind her head and grab a kettlebell. Whatever position is most comfortable that she feels that she's going to have a good grip on that kettlebell is great. Uh, from there, I'm going to have her take an inhale and then exhale as she lifts the kettlebell up straight above her chest. And she's going to have a slight bend in her elbows throughout the motion. Important thing that we're going to look for here, as she lowers that kettlebell down, we want to make sure she maintains a good neutral rib position and there's no extension of the lumbar spine. So go ahead and lower it down and then exhale as you come back up. So from here, if you want to with your clients, we're going to actually drive her rib cage down just a little bit. Give me a little exhale. Better. You see how those ribs went down a little bit as she exhaled? And I want her to maintain that now as she lowers it down. The rib flare stays. And then exhale and bring it right back up. Perfect. So the biggest thing that you're looking for is just look at the lumbar spine, make sure that you have a neutral lumbar spine, and maintain that neutral lumbar spine throughout the entire motion. And that is the supine kettlebell pullover.